I think today the high was like 92 and then real feel was like 106. So it was quite miserable out here. But uh, it's the evening now and uh, I have about 20 minutes left of sunlight, I'm, uh, I'm guessing. And uh, it's very still, pretty much no wind. So I am thinking that I'm gonna be able to get a top bite going. I'm gonna throw a frog. I'm at some ponds that have a whole lot of scum on the top of them. And I've had good luck in the past here throwing a, throwing a frog. Um, got my waders on because that's pretty much the only way you can fish this pond. I'm gonna focus on throwing the black frog. And if that doesn't work, I am going to um, downsize just a little bit to, I <sighs> forgot the name, like a lunker hunt, a little small frog. It has the legs for added effect. So, Jesus. That's not a good sign. That's a big bass right there and it's just dead. It's a real nice bass. Let's see. It's a shame. The one issue with this pond is there's not many points of entry. Like I can walk through these weeds, but I can't really go through those cattails or try to even cast through them. So I gotta go where there's somewhat of an opening. For example, like right here and try to finesse my way through. There we go. Oh, gosh. God, he hit at the last second. Oh, he followed it all the way up. Come on. He hit that at the la at the absolute last second. He missed it. Dang it. He hit it again. I got him that time. <laughs> Same one. God, he followed it. Oh, hey. Nope, nope. Throwing that pole down. Hey, come on, chill out. Look at that. Whew, it's the same one. I saw it. I knew he was hanging out because I could see ripples. God, that's crazy. That That is such a rush when they hit it up close or any, any top water, really. It gets my blood pumping. But, God, I threw my reel right in the water. We'll let him go. Hey, big boy. Have no idea where he went, but there it is. That's my uh, that's my first topwater fish of the summer. It just goes to show how much I've been fishing. I really haven't had been fishing all that much. That's why there's been such a lack of videos. But God, that rush of a topwater bite is just. It's hard to explain really. If you never fish topwater, you gotta get out there and try. All right, this is the, the largest of the three ponds. And some bass that were just hanging out in these little weeds right here. Let's see if I can get something out here. I'm fairly confident. There we go. Looks about the same size as the last. Come on, bud. Simmer down. God, they really destroy this frog. I mean, it's just all torn up after they hit it. Yeah, another solid size. I mean, it's not big. It's probably under two, but it's another topwater fish. That one hit about a few inches off these uh, cattails. Can't be more than, 
I don't know, a foot of water. I mean, top water fishing. Quite honestly, probably my favorite type of fishing. There you go, bud. It's crazy the damage that they do to these frogs when they hit them. I mean, it's like I have to do surgery to this thing after it. Every single time I catch a fish. But yeah, it's just a black and white frog. It's getting the job done tonight. It's really the perfect night for a, uh, a topwater bite. You know, it's a little bit cloudy and it's uh, after a really hot day. Perfectly still. I mean, not much more you could ask for when you're trying to get a topwater bite going. All right, I'm really running out of daylight, so I'm trying to squeeze out one last fish. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen or not. We're trying. Oh, there's a big bass just hanging out right there. Freaking boogied when I hopped up here. I knew there was one hanging out right there. Little squeaky guy. I wasn't even like bopping that frog. I was just swimming it in because I couldn't get him to bite eat and you know, I originally was trying to fish this frog so I was just swimming it in to see if he'd bite then and sure enough, small little guy. Peace out, little man. All right, I'm gonna call it right there. God, I'm sweating my butt off. I don't know if it's, if it's these waders or what, but holy crap, it's hot out here. <laughs> there we go. Could be a little bit better. Oh, get on in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that fish. That's a good fish. I do not have a, uh, do not have a scale, but uh, that's pushing four pounds. That thing is fat. It's, that's four and a half possibly. Could almost fit my whole fist in its mouth. This is the fish that I know are in this pond, and if you can catch a good day where it's top water, nice. Okay, hold on. All right, that was a little bonus fish. I knew I said it was a gonna call it a day but came walking by the spot again uh, I had just had a feeling I had a feeling I was gonna pull something out of it so I had to cast that was my first cast and pulled in four and a half pounder possibly but now I'm done I'm heading home getting bit by mosquitoes it's time to call it a day